Hey guys, Mitch here from iAvil Tech. Today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1.1. Now this jailbreak is a tether jailbreak and it only works for the following devices. The iPhone 4, 3GS, the iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, and the original iPad. This does not work for the iPhone 4S, nor the iPad 2, or the new iPad. So first off, make sure your device is on the latest iOS, iOS 5.1.1. You can go ahead and open up the settings in the about and you will see my device is on iOS 5.1.1. Then go ahead and plug your device into your computer via USB. On your computer go ahead and open up a Red Snow. Make sure that you do have the latest version. Right now I am on 0.9.10 beta 8 and that your device has been recognized and it is connected. Now because Red Snow has not been upgraded to support the latest version of iOS 5.1.1 will be tricking it into using our iOS 5.1 so make sure that you do download the IPSW of 5.1 for your current device once you do have that downloaded go ahead and open up extras and go ahead and select the IPSW from a browse here right here we do have the iPod touch and it will be identified you can go ahead and click OK then go back and click jailbreak You will then be prompted with a window to install Cydia, a custom bundle, or the battery percentage. You do want to have the install Cydia selected and it's up to you to install the battery percentage or not. Then go ahead and select next. And right now you can go ahead and put your device into DFU mode by turning it off and doing that way. Or if your device is on like so, you can go ahead and bypass the computer screen here by holding down the top and the bottom buttons of your device for 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds has been up, you can go ahead and release the power button, making sure that you do keep the home button pressed down for an additional 5 to 10 seconds. Then your device will be exploding with Lime Rain, and you can go ahead and unselect the home button here, and it will be uploading the first second stage and then rebooting your device. The RAM disk will pop up on your device. And now we are done with the red snow on our computer and the rest of the process is taking place right here on our device. So like I said before, this is a tethered jailbreak. So if you do have to reboot your device or your device does power off, you will have to plug it back into Red Snow and do a just boot, which I will show you in a couple of minutes or so. Once your device has rebooted, you can go ahead and slide to unlock. And you will notice that we do have Cydia here, but it is a white logo. And if you go ahead and select it, it will not be able to open up, nor will your Safari. To fix this white issue, you want to go ahead and make sure that your device is plugged back in and go ahead and open up a red snow on your computer you can go ahead and select back or cancel out and we'll be going into the extras and going into adjust boot this will allow you to have access to Cydia if your device does turn off or for right now so you can go ahead and put your device into DFU mode or b b bypass it by holding down the top and the bottom buttons of your device. This is the power button and the home button. And once the 10 seconds has come up, you can go ahead and release the power button, making sure that the home button is selected still. Then it will be waiting for your device. And in a little while, you should have the pineapple logo appear on your device as it goes through the just boot process. Once your device has rebooted, you can go ahead and slide to unlock. And now our Cydia should be fully functional and you can go ahead and open it up. If you do have a, a white icon like I did still, you can go ahead and respring your device or do another just boot and that white icon will go away. So now guys, I'll show you that I am on iOS 
1.1 right there at the bottom of my screen, it does show that. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.